Hi everyone, welcome to Weekday Word, which is part of Love Church Online. My name is Festus and I worship here at Love Church. And this week we will be looking at the letter of Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Apostle Paul did write two letters to the Thessalonians, encouraging them and inspiring them on how to live and how to wait on God on some of the issues that affect our lives. Issues like peace, issues like love, issues like waiting, patience, perseverance, and all kinds of issues. And I just wanted to bring out a couple of important things that Paul tried to talk about. Um, Today, we will look at thanking God and praying for ourselves. Thanking God and praying for ourselves. Paul puts it this way, thank God and pray for me. I thank God and I pray for you. Um, You also thank God and pray for me. And we see throughout this epistle, throughout this letter that Paul wrote, he keeps talking about giving thanks, he keeps talking about praying for the people, he keeps talking about asking for prayers for himself. And when we read from 1 Thessalonians, the first letter, chapter 1 and verse 2, Paul says, we give thanks to God always for you all. We make mention of you in our prayers. And if we also look at 2 Thessalonians, as the second epistle, chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Finally, brethren, pray for us, that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you. And so we see that Paul keeps talking about prayer. He keeps talking about giving thanks. And I just wanted to remind us of the importance of prayer. It is actually a way to communicate with our, with our Father. It's one of the most um, important ways through which we talk to God. Giving thanks for what we have, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and everything that we do in our lives. Giving thanks to God, appreciating Him, but also praying to Him, communing with God for other people. Praying for your friends and families, praying for um, those who do not know the Lord, who are yet to um, come to the knowledge of his love, praying for them that God will help them, that God will bring them nearer to himself. And so, just to um, talk about the importance of prayer, we um, read about the story uh, of John Wesley. John Wesley was the founder of the Methodist movement. And his impact on a young man who would then grow to become one of the the respected evangelists in the world, Billy Graham. Um, Billy Graham, as a young young man, you know, was found kneeling in the knee hose created by John Wesley. And his prayer was, oh Lord, do it again. And what this just reminds us is the power of prayer, how praying for someone or connecting with the depth of prayers or connecting uh, to agree with someone in the place of prayer on anything, on on health, on finance, emotional well-being, mental health, and and all the things we see around us. Praying uh, brings to bear the powerful work of God, what God can do because we agree to pray. And on this note, to start this week, uh, looking at at Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, I just want us to start by giving thanks and also praying. Why don't you join me um, as I invite you right now to to just share uh, a word of prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for today. Thank you for the opportunity to pray. Thank you for the opportunity to give thanks to you for the life we have, for the health we have, for our environment and everything around us. Um, Just give us our deliberate and and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And please lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen.